Teaching dance in primary schools can be a challenge for even the most flexible of teachers. Featuring an expert dance specialist and a teacher keen to improve her skills, this programme offers you some sound advice on the basics of dance at Key Stage 2. Amanda Garten from Great Wishford Primary near Salisbury teaches Year 3 and 4 and is the school's PE coordinator. She's more than comfortable with gym and games, but dance is a different story. During teacher training at, at Teacher Training College, I literally had an hour and a half practical experience learning how to dance and how to teach dance. That was it. It was an hour and a half. It was, it was nearly nothing, really. Lynn Payne is a specialist dance instructor. Her courses aim to help teachers develop their own potential gain confidence and create a structure for lessons which cover the objectives laid down in the QCA guidelines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think the problem with dance is there aren't any rules laid down. There are no book of rules like there might be for sport, some sports and some games. And so it's actually an art form and it's about responding creatively. Uh, and not everybody responds in the same way. And I think maybe teachers are sometimes a little bit worried that the way the children respond isn't the right way, but there actually isn't a right way. The two meet up when Lynn comes to assess one of Amanda's dance classes. Its theme is directly connected to another aspect of the curriculum. Dance is definitely one area of the curriculum that you can link with lots of others. We're linking at the moment with geography and history, our local um, history and St Vincent as our geography. We're linking it with literacy as well because we're learning songs and words and we'll make rhymes and poems that we could make to certain rhythms, etc. So we can link it with literacy. Amanda is devising a lively carnival-themed dance. She wants to use ideas and music taken from Caribbean culture and produce a colourful dance routine. You've got all this lovely space. Try not to go round and round in a circle, OK? Finding those pathways in and out. Remember, moving, raising your pulse, really stretch out. High, low, big, small, all those shapes. OK, let's go for it then. As part of the mentoring session, Lynn's brought along a video camera, a laptop and an assistant to film the lesson so they can analyse it afterwards. But first, let Lynn remind us of the basic essentials of any dance lesson. Each lesson should begin with a, a short, intensive warm-up, something at minimum of three minutes to engage the children, get them physically ready and mentally ready for their dance. High, low, big, small, all those shapes. And then an introductory session where they're perhaps exploring the material, you set the idea, perhaps do a bit of brainstorming, try some of the moves out, get them to try them out and develop them in some way. So each time you change, I want a different step out of you. Think of the way you're doing it, using your shoulders, using your hands. And the main part of the lesson will be where you're building some sequences, perhaps as a class, perhaps as a pair or in groups. Um, towards a dance that you're perhaps going to work on over the next few weeks. Well done. Give them a clap. Well done. Well done. This team then you need a, a few minutes at the end to recap and think about what you've been doing, a bit like the plenary in any other lesson, and then a cool-down activity to get them mentally and physically prepared for what happens after the dance lesson. So we're going back to our normal state. So our bodies are cooling down. Our heart rate is slowing down, and we're nearly ready to go and get some lunch. So how does Amanda's lesson match up to the criteria set by Lynn? What I really liked about this was the way that you got stuck in and you demonstrated. And when you felt that they were running out of ideas or they weren't thinking very imaginative, you, you, you gave them some suggestions and picked up on some of their ideas, and they responded very well to that. What about the top half of your body? Oh, I like that one. He's being a strong man. Cool, that's a good one already. I like that one. Excellent. Think about using your arms as well. Okay. 
One of the things you might well have done at this stage was maybe give them some very clear directions to move in. So, you know, let's all go sideways or... Right, okay, yeah. Feel the music. You've just done it without the music. Try and feel the music this time. It's nice and poppy. Think of yourself in the hot sunshine. A bit difficult today with the rain. The sun is beating down. You've got a great big costume. Lots of feathers and sparkles and sequins. You like Now, one of the things I think you became aware of <coughs> was that the steps weren't necessarily in the style mm. that you wanted. The, yeah. the carnival style yeah. and the style of the music. So take me through some of the things you, you kind of thought asked them to do to, to try and get into that style uh, I asked them to slow it down so just feel that rhythm slow it slow it down which is why I reminded them again about um, the costumes and the amount of time it would Had take you talked about that in the classroom first they've looked at the books and things on the display right. we haven't had a huge session on the the costumes etc I wanted them to get into the feel of the dancing first right. and then okay. later on when we've got more time at the end towards the end of the topic to design some carnival costumes which would be which would be good about stopping the music and stopping and freezing them yeah. uh, for instance when when you're changing the leader you could have stopped the music they could have frozen and then right, you could have checked their idea. spacing yeah. and then you could have got the other person to yeah. go to the front I'm gonna say change I'd like the person at the front to go to the back go to the back Lucy and the person who is now at the front to keep walking Taking your procession on a spaghetti pathway in and out, but not just walking, changing the way you make a step. One of the things you might think about is to break the task down. I felt that you gave them too many instructions mm. from the start, did you? Yes, I did. It was, it was just me, gabble, 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 yeah. gabble, gabble. So you need to yeah. give them time to explore perhaps the pathways first, follow the leader pathways, then stop them and say, now let's think about different kinds yeah. of step and then stop them and say, now can you add some arm yeah. movements on? I thought ready? considering they weren't used to this space and they hadn't mm. done a lot of dance, actually, they were very confident yeah. and you encouraged that with, with the, the, the task that you set. They might have been more confident if you'd actually set something specific, yeah. like we're going to travel forward with this bit, we're going to travel backward with this okay. bit, we're going to do steps to the side, you know, so yes. they actually had an yes. idea of a structure before you yes, started. So they had more direction to start yeah. with, yeah. The favorite Can you feel it? Yeah. Is it making a rhythm, that? Tell me the rhythm. Put your hand on your heart. Absolutely right, it does. Can you feel yours? Is it beating a bit faster than it would normally? We must have warmed up then. Here's a bit I'm really interested in and I think was, was really good teaching is where you made reference to um, how the heart beats faster following yeah. the warm-up and uh, they're all feeling their heartbeat and talking about how it feels. Yes, I mean, one of our science topics at the moment is the human body anyway, so that, that's another nice, another nice link in. I did feel that they were getting very tired. They were. They were pooped at <laughs> the end because they were racing and racing. I was racing. desperate for you to stop them and yeah. say, OK, you've got two steps. You've all se selected yeah. your steps because you did all that really well. Yeah. All the compositional skills were there, exploring, selecting, developing and refining. Yeah. But they were still whizzing around they the room. Racing, and I wanted racing. you to stop them and say, now let's add something you can do on the spot yeah, so that, that they had a good. resting kind of brief at that point. Yeah. So that's one possibility. Yeah. Excellent. And step two. What was step two? Now, can anybody be critical friends? Can anybody give them any advice? What would you do? Um, that they could do more stretching to it. Okay, so rather than just doing flat feet, they could really stretch to it. 
Okay. This was one of the Which best parts of the lesson, I mm. felt, when you gave them a chance to show the their work the front, and you invited um, them to be critical mm. friends yeah. uh, and to suggest um, improvements. Um, you modelled that to begin with. You were the person evaluating. Right. And in fact, yeah. I thought, oh, I hope she's going to let them have a chance. Yeah. And you did. You got yeah. them to do some peer evaluation. Yeah. Critical friends. How do you think they could improve and make the two steps Different. What they do at this age, though, is they, they suggest something quite different. Did you notice that? They say things like, I think she ought to do it this way. Exactly, yes. Rather than actually letting them yeah. have, a, have, a, have a choice about how they develop it. Yeah. They always want to give their own idea, they? do, don't they? very much. And it's, and it's always pretty much what they've just done. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so rather than both doing like that, they could stretch out... And you think they could change their arms completely. You wanted them to put their arms on their shoulders and you want them to really stretch out with their arms. OK. This was the opportunity for you to maybe start to structure it in mm, space. Yeah. And as you've got the class behind you, you've got two steps we all yeah. know. You could have said, let's take four steps forward yeah. and let's take four steps backwards and let's yeah. do this bit in a circle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so you do. could have yeah, actually made the, space the class better. routine for them so they yeah. didn't have to stay in their lines yeah. again and fight their way through other lines yes. because that was yeah, they was were crashing into together. each other. Right, just while you're standing, just cool down a second. Hand on your heart. You're a bit warm, Morris. Give me a thumbs up if you thought you've enjoyed it today. A thumbs down if you thought, ooh. A wriggly thumb if you thought, well, oh, it's not bad, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Now, I love the end because what you're asking them to do here with their thumbs up, uh, thumbs in the middle and thumbs down yeah. is to evaluate what they thought about your teaching actually, yeah. what they thought yeah. about the lesson, yeah. uh, what they thought about their own performance. Mm -hmm. So that's a brilliant and a very quick assessment that yeah. you can make, evaluation you can make of that. Just gently walk around with your arms by your sides. You don't need to stay with your team. Just slow yourself down very slowly. Okay. I think overall the lesson had such a high challenge, high mm. technical challenge, uh, especially on the performance aspect. Yeah. Uh, and they're all really geared up for moving forward and, and you know, you can only move on from here. Well yeah. done. Thank you. The benefits of Lynn's chat was it's reassurance as much as anything, because unless you get somebody that says, well, that was good, you never know, do you? You just you just don't ever know. So it was really nice that Lynn could say some you know some really nice. She made some nice comments. She made some very poignant comments as well, which I totally agree with. And when somebody, it always takes somebody else to point out the blethering obvious. I could see where I could make improvements next time. I could see that I was talking too much in certain places. I could see that I was um, doing some good things in in places as well with the movements and encouraging the children, etc. And it was really good to see what the children were doing because you can't watch all of them all the time. This time, it's great that um, Lynn could give me the advice that she did, um, and it's and it's been really good. It's been a, a huge learning curve for me as well.